guys, Boz here at CrossFit Die Hard. Today we are talking about the deadlift. The deadlift is going to be one of the key exercises for any training program. It doesn't matter if you're just power lifting, Olympic lifting, just want to be strong, lose weight. A deadlift should be a part of your training regimen. Basically it's picking something up off the floor. It'll apply to your everyday life, picking up the groceries, picking your kid up off the floor. We use in tons of different ways in our everyday life. So, we're going to teach you how to do the deadlift properly. We're going to go over it first just with a PVC pipe, working from the top down, and then we're going to add some weight here. We're going to use this barbell to go ahead and show you how we're going to do this deadlift. Okay, just like with any lift, your setup is going to be one of your most important things. Um, if you're not set up correctly, chances are you're not going to execute. Uh, correctly. So, for our setup, as long as we're not doing a, uh, a sumo deadlift, which is a different stance, our feet are going to be about underneath of our hips. Weight's going to be mainly in our heels, but the entire foot is on the ground, okay? So weight is mainly uh, in our heels, but our entire foot is on the ground. From here, you can choose your grip, okay? This here, double overhand grip. This here, mixed grip. For our purposes today, just learning the deadlift, it doesn't really matter. Um, go with whatever feels comfortable for you. So, like I said, we're going to start with a PVC and we're going to start from the top down. So, we're here now at the top of our deadlift. Okay, we're at the top of our deadlift. We just completed a successful lift. And now we're going to show you a correct way to lower the bar. Down to about where it would be if there was plates on the bar. We're going to show you the lift. Head back down again. All right, so you'll notice one thing. When we're at the top, first thing we're going to do is slightly unlock our knees. Then we're going to push our butt back like we're, un like we're closing a car door. We're shutting it with our butt. We're pushing our butt back, our weight's in our heels. The bar is sliding down our thighs. As soon as the bar passes the knee, then our knees bend, and we hit the ground, stand up, shoulders and hips are going to rise at the same time. Once the bar has cleared the knee, we're going to squeeze our butt, bring our hips through, making sure to stand all the way up where our ankle, hip, and shoulder are all locked out and all in a straight line. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a couple more correctly done deadlifts. Okay. Let's talk about some common faults with the deadlift. We always, always, always want to make sure we keep our core on and our lower back nice and tight. Core and lower back has got to stay tight. We do not want to see this, okay? This question mark deadlift, the round lower back, that's no good. That would look like this, okay? No good, All right? So we want to make sure that we've got our abs on tight, a low back has this nice lumbar curve in it. Stand it up, lower it down. As we come up and pull off the floor, we want to make sure that our shoulders and our hips are coming up at the same time. Shoulders and hips, same time. What happens when that doesn't happen and the butt comes up? You get what you have, or what we call the stripper deadlift, okay? Stripper deadlift is when the butt rises without the shoulders. So again, we're down here. We want to make sure shoulders and hips come up at the same time until the bar clears the knee. Now we're going to move on to a barbell. Okay. So now we got this barbell. It's 95 pounds. When we address the bar, we are getting ready to set up for the deadlift. We want to have that bar as very close to our shins, almost as close as possible where if you were to look down, that barbell would cover the knots in your shoelaces. From here, we're just going to bend over, grab the bar in whichever grip we want. We're going to make sure that we poke our chest out and that we keep our lumbar curve. Shoulders and hips come up at the same time. Once the bar passes the knee, squeeze our butt really tight, squeeze our abs, and finish the pull. To lower the bar, we want to make sure that we unlock the knees, push the butt back, have the bar slide down our thighs and lower it all the way down to the floor. For each deadlift rep, we're going to want to raise and lower. One last thing is when we're lowering the bar in the deadlift, we want to make sure that we keep it nice and close to the body. 
We don't want to end up lowering it out in front here. This is going to be a way to pull on your lower back. Um, not going to feel very good. It's going to make the same weight feel a whole lot heavier. So this is the deadlift basics. Good luck incorporating it into your training.